Hello friends, in this video, we are discussing about the types and setting out curve by tangent correction. Vertical curve. When two different or country gradients meet, they are connected by a curve in vertical plane. It's called a vertical curve. So this can be of two types summit or valley it is advisable to introduce a vertical curve in road and in railway work in order to round off the angle and to obtain a gradual change in grade so that abrupt change in grade is avoided at the apex so Many times moving in the hilly region or the mountainous region, we have seen these types of curves, vertical curves as well as the horizontal curves. Talking about the types of curves, there are four main types of curves and vertical curves that can be first an upgrade followed by a downgrade. So you can see in the figure a upgrade G1 followed by a downgrade g2 so over here as we can see oa is an upgrade and a to b is a downgrade this is the first type of curve in second type of curve we have a downgrade followed by an upgrade so first we are going downwards and then we are going upwards so this will be your oa will be your g1 and o AB will be G2. So that is the second type of grade in which what we are going for downward and then upward. Then third is an upgrade followed by an another upgrade. So as you can see in this figure, we have OA as an upgrade going in upward direction, and then we have a second grade that is AB again going in the upward direction. And the fourth type in which we have a downgrade followed by a another downgrade. As you can see here, OA minus G1% that is downgrade and AB minus G2% that is again downgrade. So there are total four types of grade as we have seen. First one was upgrade followed by your downgrade. Then we have a downgrade followed by the upgrade and then third both are going upgrades and the last is a downgrade followed by another downgrade now let us discuss about some properties of parabola as the curve form is in the form of parabola so there are some important properties we should know before setting out the curve that is your vertical curves so in figure as we can see OX and OY are the axis of your rectangular coordinate passing through the point O and O is about origin of the coordinates. OA and OB the tangent of vertical curve. As you can see over here we got two tangents that is OA and AB. Let's take G1 positive percent that is the tangent grade of OA and minus 2G percent the grade of tangent AB so we have two grades so this is the type of what upgrade followed by a downgrade and M is any point on the curve whose coordinate were X and Y as you can see in the figure now it may be shown that the equation of the parabola with respect to OX and OY is Y equal to Y we can find out by using formula CX square plus G1X. Now OK O to K distance that is X distance and KM is Y distance that is G1X and NM is equal to NM we can find out by using KN minus KM and where NM directly can be written as minus CX square. From which it follows that the vertical distance 
from tangent to any point on the curve varies as the square of its horizontal distance from the point of commencement of the curve. This vertical distance is called as tangent correction. Where y is equal to tangent correction y is equal to minus c x square. So that is your tangent correction this distance and it is varying with the square of horizontal distance okay so we can find out y by using such equation by knowing c the tangent correction may be computed in the following way so now let us discuss about the tangent correction let the change and elevation of the apex is given that is the point a is given so the length of the curve on either side of a being l meter now we have to determine the change of point of tangent that is o and b so change of o can be find out by using formula what change of a minus small l that is length of tangent and change of b can be find out by using formula change of a plus length of tangent now we are knowing the grades of the tangents OA and AB and the elevation of A. We have to compute the elevation of the tangent points of O and B. So first step we have to find out the elevation of point O and B. Elevation of O is equal to elevation of A minus LG1 upon 100. And elevation of B can be found out by using elevation of A minus l g2 upon 100 so in this manner we have to find out the elevation of starting point and end point then we have to compute the tangent corrections that is y or you can denote it as by h also by knowing the tangent corrections for the stations on the curve then we have to determine the elevation of corresponding stations on the tangent Find the elevation of the station on the curve by adding the algebraically the tangent correction to the elevation of the corresponding stations on the tangent OA. So by knowing the elevation of points on tangent OA and by adding the tangent correction to it, we will be finding out what? The elevation of the curve. So the elevation of the station at a distance x on the curve is equal to elevation of the station on the tangent plus minus tangent correction as we have already discussed. And the results we have to tabulate in the form of table which is given below. The procedure we have right over here and the formulas for your references so you can calculate the values of y and the elevation of point o and b and after knowing the elevation of o and b we can find out the elevation of remaining points then we have to find out tangent correction at each point and by knowing the tangent correction we can find out the elevation of curve and then we have to tabulate all the results in the given format as station change tangent or grade elevation then the tangent correction we have to find out and the elevation of the curve will be find out by using tangent elevation and tangent correction and lastly is t marks in this video we have seen what are the different types of vertical curve the properties of parabola and how to set out a vertical curve by using tangent correction thank you